Union Test Prep's General Science Practice Questions for the ASVAB exam. Question 1. Which of these macronutrients is necessary for cellular growth, transport, and repair? A. Carbohydrates B. Proteins C. Lipids D. Fiber B. Proteins is correct. Cellular growth, transport, and repair requires amino acids, and some of them are obtained only through the ingestion of proteins that are broken down during digestion. Carbohydrates are primarily a form of accessible energy, while lipids are used for energy storage and as precursors for the biosynthesis of molecules like hormones. Fiber is the portion of nutrients that can't be digested, but serves as an important function to facilitate the movement of food through the digestive system. Question 2. Which of these is responsible for the removal of waste from the bloodstream? A. Circulatory system B. Digestive system C. Excretory system D. Nervous system C. Excretory system is the correct answer. The blood is filtered when it passes through the kidneys, which are part of the excretory system. The waste is then removed in the urine. The circulatory system is responsible for transporting blood throughout the body, the digestive system for obtaining nutrients from food, and the nervous system for controlling the communication between the cells in our bodies. Question 3. The expression of the blank is called the blank. A. Traits Phenotype B. Phenotype Genotype C. DNA Genotype D. Genotype Phenotype The correct answer is D. Genotype Phenotype The genetic information stored in the DNA that is inherited from the parents is the genotype. The observable physical expression of the genetic information in the form of traits such as height, eye color, or body type is the phenotype. Question 4. Blank are not present in animal cells. A. Chloroplasts B. Vacuoles C. Ribosomes D. Lysosomes Answer A. Chloroplast is the correct answer. Chloroplasts are present in plant and algae cells and are the organelles responsible for the process of photosynthesis. Both plant and animal cells have vacuoles for storage purposes and ribosomes for translating RNA into proteins. Lysosomes are found almost exclusively in animal cells and are responsible for degrading large molecules. Question 5. If there's a food chain formed by grass, buffalo, lion, what happens if the lions disappear? A. The grass population increases and the buffalo population increases. B. The grass population decreases and the buffalo population decreases. C. The grass population decreases and the buffalo population increases. D. The grass population remains the same and the buffalo population increases. Answer C, the grass population decreases and the buffalo population increases, is the correct answer. The top predator of this ecosystem is the lion. When the top predator is removed from a food chain, a phenomenon known as a trophic cascade occurs. In this case, the consequences of the trophic cascade would be that the buffalo population will boom as they will not have a direct predator, and the grass population will decrease because of the rising number of buffaloes. For more free practice test study guides and flashcards for the ASVAB exam, please visit us at uniontestprep.com forward slash ASVAB.